Carrie Buck here, creator of ATM Business Blueprint, where I teach folks to create a lifetime of passive income by owning their own ATM machines. Ultimately, that allows them to spend more time with family and friends, less time with annoying coworkers, and they can make money while they sleep. In this video today, I want to share with you the most profitable ATM business models. All right, I'm going to show you. Uh, the business models that people ask me the most questions for, uh, about. I get emails all the time. Hey, Carrie, which ATM business model should I go with? Uh, which one's more profitable? So that I'm going to answer today in this uh, video, and let's get right into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to list the four ATM business models, and then we'll go over them in detail. I do want to apologize ahead of time for my horrible handwriting. <laughs> First one is you fill your cash. You fill not your cash. Don't fill your cash. You don't fill not your cash. Now I also, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I also have folks email me and ask about an ATM franchise. So I want to write that down here and we'll touch on that towards the end of the video. All right, so let's get started with number one. Pretty self-explanatory, you fill your cash. What that means is you physically are filling the ATM machines up with cash. And that cash is coming from either under your mattress, your savings account, or your bank account. So you go to the bank, withdraw your money, and you fill those ATMs up with cash. Okay? It's the most profitable ATM business model for obvious reasons. Number one, you're filling it. So you're not paying anybody to fill the machine. You're just using your time. And with the ATM business, the time that you're using is not very much. So it's worth it to you. You're using your cash, so you're not paying to use somebody else's cash. Okay, so that's hands down why this is the most profitable ATM business model. And then we move down to you fill, not your cash. What I mean by that is you're still going to fill the machine, but you don't have that cash in your checking account, uh, savings account, or under your mattress. Maybe, though, Aunt Bertha does. So Aunt Bertha is going to lend you that cash for your business. Again, it's not your cash, so you're going to have to pay Aunt Bertha for it. Okay? Um, or another method, and Aunt Bertha would be called what's, uh, what's called a private money lender. Okay, a private lender. Um, or another method of using OPM, which stands for other people's money, is credit card, home equity line of credit, business line of credit. All of them are ways that you can use OPM to fill in your ATM machines. And again, that's not your cash, that's the bank's cash, whether it's home equity line of credit, business line of credit, or a credit card. So you're gonna have to pay for that cash, all right? Now I wanna make a little, a little sidebar here about credit cards. I'm not a fan of just taking your credit card and spending frivolously on it. You know, going into Walmart and running up your credit card, or going to Best Buy and running up your credit card, or saying, hey, you know what? I know I can't afford it, but let's go to Disney the next four months in a row. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not a fan of that when it comes to your credit card. <laughs> what I am a fan of, though, is using your credit card balance that you might have available wisely and strategically. What I mean by that is, let's say you have an available $5,000 balance on a credit card. If you sit down and consciously think to yourself, you know what, I want to start an ATM business to make my life, my family's life, and our future better. And I'm gonna use that money on that credit card. And if you sit down and consciously say to yourself, I'm gonna commit to paying back this debt every month, and you religiously, every month, take 100% of your profits, or 75%, or whatever you deem is reasonable, and put that towards paying off that credit card, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of that because you 
consciously thought about that plan and you put that plan in place to make you, your family, and your future's life better. Okay, do you see the difference there? So obviously the credit card, how much you're gonna pay for that cash that's not yours, gonna vary on your credit card. Home equity line, I have one for 2.9%. Cheap, cheap money. <laughs> Business line of credit, it depends on what your bank is offering. So those are ways that you can fill your machine and not use your cash, all right? Then we go to don't fill the machine and you're using your cash. What I mean by this ATM business model is, let's say you have a friend who's a police officer or in the military or security guard. Off duty, you wanna pay that friend to fill your ATM machines, okay? So you're gonna have to pay that friend, obviously, they're not gonna do it for free, but they're gonna use your cash. I hope you stopped and thought for a minute here. You have to make sure you trust this friend with everything you got. You trust this friend with your life because you are giving them your life. You're giving them your cash. This is your future right here. So as long as you trust that friend, this is, some, this is a model you might want to go for. Okay, that's a model you might want to use. I don't recommend you putting an ad in Craigslist and looking for somebody to fill your ATMs. I don't recommend that at all. <laughs> But if it's a friend that you trust, hey, maybe this is a, a viable ATM business model for you, okay? The last one, least profitable method, you don't fill and you're not using your cash. Now, when I talk about this model right here, what I'm referring to is you hire an armored car service to fill all your ATMs. Now, when you hire an armored car service like Brinks, you can't just say, hey, Mr. Brinks, man, please go uh, to my bank or under my mattress and get my cash and fill my machines. Can't do that. When you hire an armored car service, you need to also get what's called vault cash. And you get that from a bank. And again, that's not your cash. So you have to pay for that vault cash from the bank. So not only are you paying Mr. Armored Car Man or woman, you're paying them to fill your machine, but you're also paying for that vault cash. You see why that's the least profitable ATM business model? It's still profitable, it still can be very profitable, it's just the least profitable. I don't ever recommend people starting out with this ATM business model. I believe it cuts into your profits way too much in the beginning when you're starting your business. I think this is something we all, as ATM business owners, should shoot for one day. Hey, you, you might not want to, you might be retired and you might like filling your ATMs. That might be your job that you like doing instead of working at Walmart and greeting customers or uh, working at a gas station or, or being a waiter or waitress. This might be your job that you like doing and you don't ever want somebody else to do it. That's okay. For me, I don't want to fill ATMs forever and at some point, I do want to do this and pay Brinks to fill my machines. I'm not willing to let them cut my profits right now though <laughs> because Filling the machines takes so little time that I'm okay with it. There's also uh, an ATM business model that involves you not filling it and not using your cash. That is probably profitable up here or right here. That is when you have a partnership and you are going to be the partner that is teaching somebody how to be in the ATM business. You're going to commit financially a little bit, but you're mostly teaching them and you, uh, they do all the work and you get some of the profits, okay? But the main, these are the four main business models. It has nothing to do with any partners. These are just the four main business models. These are the two that I use in my business. The two most profitable models. I did have this model where I had a partner. Uh, unfortunately, his wife got very ill and he couldn't handle the ATMs anymore, so we bought, them, bought him out. So now we're strictly just these two business models. Again, it's up to you which way you want to go. This is the most profitable and then least profitable down the line. Okay? ATM franchise. With an ATM franchise, I got a lot of people asking me about this. With the ATM franchise, on the low end, you're going to start that franchise for about $25,000. That's a horrible two. Sorry about that. I have no idea where that came from. That's a two. <laughs> On the high end, $85,000. My eight looks way better. 
25,000 low end, 85,000 high end. What people don't realize when they uh, talk about an ATM franchise or when they sign up for an ATM franchise, you're still gonna have to decide which model you want for your ATM business. Okay, you're gonna decide if you're gonna fill it, use your cash, not your cash. This is what you're deciding. Okay, and with this, these figures, I believe the ATM franchise are counting on it being your cash. Okay, so with this uh, ATM franchise, the 25 grand, you're getting two ATMs. 80, I think it's, actually, I think it's 84 grand, and you're getting four ATMs there. If that's what you want to spend your money on, just to say you have a franchise, that's your prerogative. Just know you're still going to have to pick one of these models. Okay? Um, obviously, you're going to get more for $25,000 and $84,000 than two or four ATM machines because if that's all you got, this is a bad deal. <laughs> Way bad deal. Way bad deal. I teach people how to get eight, their ATMs brand new for two grand. So that would be a bad deal. <laughs> so I hope you're getting more than ATM machines for these prices. But in the end, ultimately, what I want you to know is even if you go with an ATM franchise, you're going to have to pick one of these models. Okay? I hope I answered all your questions about ATM business models. If you have any questions about ATM business models, ATM franchises, post them below. I personally will respond to them and answer your question. If you want more information on starting your own ATM business so you too can create a lifetime of passive income, head on over to atmbusinessblueprint.com. There, if you put in your name and email, I will give you my ATM business roadmap and my ATM business cheat sheet along with, if you keep checking your email, I will share with you some really informative videos and a lot of valuable information to allow you to learn more about the ATM business and how it can help you, your family, and your future. All right, so once again, that's atmbusinessblueprint.com. All you gotta do is enter your name and email address, name and email address, and I will send that free information over to you right away. Once again, it's Carrie Buck with ATM Business Blueprint. Thanks a lot, guys. I look forward to talking to you again.